And then we're going to step right into this teaching immediately. Amen? Amen. Two people got it. Three people. All right. Now we're getting an echo in the, in the sanctuary. All right. Hallelujah. How many know that every word, every word in the Bible is given to us for a purpose and a reason? And I'll just throw this out to you because uh, in our modern day uh, translations and, and equipping of, of writing the Bible, there's so many books that aren't put into the Bible as were first written. There's so much more saints. Come on. There's so much more. But we take hold of what we have now, right, in the scriptures, in the Old Testament and the New Testament, and we apply them to our lives. And this is that area we want to speak so boldly about, and it's, it's one of the nine gifts that God gives us when we, we, we become born again. It's a gift that only God can give us. And the Bible says, as a born-again child of God, when you become born again, God infuses or he puts all the gifts of the Spirit in you to function and operate based on his word, that you, as his sons and daughters, will build his kingdom in the earth. Amen? That he will give you provisions to meet the, the needs of his kingdom people. So we want to talk to you a lot about faith tonight. Not a little, but a lot about faith. And our title today is Abiding Faith, Faith That Is Everlasting. Somebody say, Faith That Is Everlasting. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Faith, abiding faith is faith that is enduring. Faith that is lasting, persisting, continual, consistent. Faith that is eternal. Why is faith eternal? Because God. Because God is eternal, and God is faith. Amen. Hallelujah. And this faith we are speaking about is not a natural faith. It's, a, a, it's, a hu- it's not a human faith uh, that, a, a por- that a person is born with, all right? The faith we're speaking about is a faith that is supernatural. Somebody say Supernatural. It's divine faith. It's celestial faith. It is holy faith. Now, please, I'm going to ask you to stay with us today for the duration of this service and and listen what God is offering us today. During this Memorial Weekend uh, 2024, God will draw your attention to his divine purpose why faith was imparted into your lives. But you have to have an ear to hear and you have to have a heart to receive. So oftentimes we hear these terms coming, coming to us uh, through teachers and apostles and prophets, and we just kind of, oh, yeah, faith, you know, a blessing. Uh, but they're all relative, and they're all important for us to not only hear them, but to understand what, what it has to offer in our lives. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Another release of this concept of faith is that faith is lasting. Faith is persisting. Faith is continual. Somebody. Faith is continual. Faith that is constant and faith that is eternal. God's faith in you as one of his sons and daughters. Amen? Amen. Now, please stay with us on this. We're going to build you up. And I'll, I'll pull from this right now because as, as you continue in this, these summer months, whether you be here at Genesis Upper Room Church or another church or another ministry, listen, God is preparing you to step into these, this season of su- summer to receive an abundance. Uh, we, see, we see the storehouse of God. We see the storehouses of God, amen? And we see what's in those storehouses, and they're ready to be released. Angels are being put on assignment to bring from heaven into the earth the very thing that you've been asking God for, the provision that are necessary for you. Is somebody in the house? Is somebody hearing this? Amen. Come on, Master. How many of you know there's warehouses in heaven Amen. full with the abundance of God's provisions? Amen? Shekobaraka. Saints, this abiding supernatural faith that bears witness that you are one of God's chosen, a people under God, to experience his mercy and his grace upon our lives. 1 Peter 2.9 says this, you who once were not a people but are now a people of God, who had not obtained mercy but now have obtained mercy. That was a good place to shout hallelujah. 
He says, but you are a chosen generation, a, a royal priesthood, a holy, oh God, a holy nation, his own special people. You're special to God, saints, Amen. that you may proclaim the praises of whom, him who has called you out of darkness, where? Into his marvelous light. Come on. Masa, as a son and daughter of the living God. Jebaba, called by God. This everlasting supernatural faith from Yahweh is more than able to make you stand, remain confident uh, that no matter what lies, no matter what threats, accusations, no matter what assaults that may cross your path, God's supernatural faith will sustain you, it will carry you, it will comfort you, it will nourish you, it will vindicate you. In other words, it will make you free from the blame set against uh, you by your enemies. God's faith is in you to validate his faith in you to prove, to endorse. His faith in you to confirm your life in Christ Jesus, who is your Savior, who is your Redeemer, who is your Deliverer, who is your Provider. So where are you going with this, Brother Michael? This is where we're going with this. All this potential God has given you through the supernatural gate so that as you wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickednesses in high places, you will come out. You will come out to walk away from every battle victorious, waving the banner of Jehovah Nisi, saying, the Lord is my banner, my protector, and my provider. Saints, faith is and will always be the substance of things hoped for with the evidence of things that are not seen by the natural eye. So God's setting us up. He's setting us up this afternoon to receive a word from, from his heart today. Are you ready for that? Is it getting warm in here? Okay, nobody's saying nothing today. So I just, I'll just talk to the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So we want to set, we've set you in place here to receive this prophetic word God released today. And again, as everything that is released from this sanctuary, understand, it's not from Brother Michael, it's from the heart of the Father. God wants to draw your attention not into flesh and blood, but unto Him. All this teaching is to draw your attention to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of your faith. Here's the prophetic release. Today from the release of prophecy comes the enhancement. Somebody say enhancement. Comes the enhancement for the increase of faith to speak and act upon every directive I, the Lord of hosts, will place in your hearts. Today's impartation will surely activate the promotion of my faith in you giving you the assurance that you have been called by me and chosen by me to be one of my very own, to demonstrate the power of my love towards humanity. Today's impartation will enhance your abilities to see me through the eyes of the Holy Spirit, to see others as I see them and respond to them the same way I responded to you from a heart of unconditional love meeting your very need. From this impartation, you will begin to engage in a supernatural flow of divine power, giving you the provisions to function in a level of supernatural faith where miracles, signs, and wonders will follow you as you declare the power of my word in the lives of humanity. This inspiration, this promoting, this accelerated faith in you will cause you to live a lifestyle of abundance for provisions to meet your every need, physically, mentally, and spiritually. From this, you will come to truly know my beloved son, Jesus, as the author and the finisher of your faith. This kept hitting me in the, in the spirit today. The author, the author, the author and the finisher of your faith. Come on. Jacob, that supernatural gift of faith that he's given you. From this, you will come to know my beloved son, Jesus, as the author and the finisher of your faith, he who is Savior, he who is Redeemer, he who is Deliverer, he who is Healer, he, his, who, he who is Provider, 
He who has given himself as a ransom for all. As the days, weeks, and the months approach, a greater clarity to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to you, my bride, will come. Again, this clarion call to action to seek my kingdom and all of its righteousness so that what you desire from me can be added to your lives, to those sessions of consecration and intimacy with me, to the sessions of prayer and fasting through intercession where you will run the race Ah, that I, the Lord of hosts, have set before you. Beloved of mine, now is the time to put aside any sin that would so easily beset you. And come to my altar of grace to receive all that I have intended for you in this end time move of my spirit for this final harvest of souls, says the spirit of the living God. Can you receive that today? Come on. Can you receive that today? See a big kiss. I see uh, in the spirit. For those of you who don't know us, you'll get to know us real quick. In the spirit right now, as this word is coming forth, I see a pillar of fire coming up out of the ground. A pillar of fire that represents the faith of God. It has no beginning and it has no end because he has no beginning and he has no end. Is somebody in the house. And here's, here's the explanation of this vision. As you come up here and you pass by this pillar of faith, it's going to burn off. Come on. It's going to burn off the things that have attached itself to you from the world. Those things, those things that that have no benefit for God and for his kingdom. He's going to burn them off, burn them away. Some of you are going to walk out here today uh, with a release, just knowing there's been a release taking place because of this pillar of fire this great pillar of faith that is in the sanctuary tonight. Shiki, vidi, sarababakasi. Abiding faith. Faith that is everlasting is revealed throughout the Bible, saints. Abiding faith, a faith that is enduring. Faith that is lasting. Faith that is persisting. Somebody say persisting. Faith that is continual. Faith that is consistent. Faith that is eternal. I'm going to ask you right now, just, just join in me here. Just join with me. Begin to, to pray in your spiritual language. Come on. Put that gift mapra in, 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 in action right now. Those of you joining us online at home, please, ma, begin to loose, uh, loose that tongue. Ma, pray in the spirit. Come on, saints. And you watch as you pray in, in tongues here. This is going to promote in you what God has called you to receive here today. Ma, an activation of faith. That is necessary for this end time move of the Spirit of God, not only in the world, but in your lives as well. You who he's called to be his sons and his daughters. You who he has called and has, has called you to be ambassadors for his kingdom in the earth. You who he has called to be priests in the order of Melchizedek. Come on, saints. Shekababasi. If you not have the gift of tongues activated in your lives here today, I'm going to ask you to stand up. Come on, let's put faith into action right now. Just stand up right now in the name of Jesus. The gift of tongues has not been activated in your life. Stand up right now. My God will move upon you. Come on, the Spirit of God will move upon you. He will cause an activation of the gift of Glossalia to come upon you. Jegababa, those of you that are here, am I praying in tongues? Come on, pray. Just as others have prayed for you for the activation of the gift of tongues, pray for your brothers and sisters that are in the faith in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, loose it, saints. <coughs> loose it. Come on. 
Those of you that are standing, I'm going to ask you to run up to the altar really quick here. Come on, run up here quickly. Those of you are standing up, we're going to anoint you with oil. We're going to believe God to move and activate that tongue in you right now. Those of you there, in the, come on, in the sanctuary, those of you that are online, please extend your hands here. The Bible is very clear. The Bible said, Jesus said that when two or more agree is touching any one thing that they shall ask, it shall be done for them by their Father which is in heaven. My son, listen, I'm not deaf. I know that, but I cannot hear you. Come on. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I call forth an activation. Kapra, the gift of glacialia. Cerebro tababaka. Come forth. Come forth. Shiko bababora no sere. Come forth. In the name of Jesus. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, the activation. Mobra is there. It's there. Zereba, it's residing and it's ready to come forth. Mapra, faith that is consistent. My faith that is accurate in Jesus' mighty name. Shekabo Santara Larara Masi. Shekada Sandara Larara Babo Bashan Satara Larama Mama Sikara Yarabaki. Yara Laraba on her heart. On her heart. Jene Mama Bava Kara Mose. Impartation. Activation. Mapra. Mighty. Mighty in spirit. Mighty in power. Ma, the gift of Glossier. I call it forth now in Jesus' mighty name. Jeca, mi hermana en Cristo. Jeco, ria, rebus. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Caraloma, sandara, la rabaki. There you go. Get activation. Active, and God says, don't stop. Ma, as the days progress, don't stop. Let this flow like a mighty river, even as I am a mighty river, says the Spirit of the living God. Put your hands in. Shake of us, Sorora Babaka. And tonight, that, I'm telling you, that oppression that's got to hold you, it's going to go. My, when it leaves, you're going to know it's the Spirit of God that's done it for you. So, Father, in the name of Jesus. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, I call forth an activation. Mashaka of that, that gift. See, sweet, that what's on you right now? Brother Michael cannot do that. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the heat of the Holy Spirit upon you. Sitting, you're going to have an experience. God's promising. He's telling me to tell you. He's promised you tonight. You're going to have a supernatural experience with the Holy One of Israel. Jegabos solarababaka. Activation. Maparabokis Sidiki. Gere Baboshans Sora Laraka Hermano, mi hermano en Cristo. Gloria a Dios. En hombre Jesús. En Espíritu Santos. Gloria. Gloria Padre. Sheve. Activation, oh God. Activation of the gift of Glacialia. Jacobes Sora Lamas. Jacob, what's your first name? Forlin? Not only is God going to activate the gift of glossier, you speak in tongues, but God's going to activate the inspirational gift of prophecy in you, that you would prophesy, that you would speak the utterances of God to your generation in Jesus' mighty name. And God's telling me to tell you, don't try to think it in your natural mind. Ma, in the intellect of the natural mind. Let it come forth from your spirit, man. Masaka Arieke is in Jesus. And you will flow. God's telling me that you will flow in the gifts that I have given you, says the spirit of the living God. Jekomans solatara larababas sorababaka. Sheshekos sereboka. Zerebrubabaka areka. Lord, activation. Shebe Boka, you too, uh, but what's your first name? Gustavo. Gustavo? Yeah, Gustavo. 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 Yeah, Gustavo. Uh, let me have my rag. My cloth, not a rag. We don't carry rags, we, clear, we carry cloths. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm Gustavo today, oh God. And, and, and Lord, it's a word for you, Gustavo. See, saints, that's why when we call you up, come up. You never know what God's going to say. Amen? For the Lord would say unto thee this day, my son, 
And I do call you my son. For I love thee with an encompassing love. And in that, watch this, in that night, when you were alone with me, says God, and you asked of me, I was there in the midst of you, says the Lord. By this, my heart towards you as a father unto a son, that you would become my son unto me, says the Lord. Today, this word release, this enhancement, not only for the activation of my gifts. Bus, and, and, and Gustavo, I'm telling you what God's telling me to tell you. He sees you. He knows your heart towards him. He knows your heart towards your family. And God says, don't be desperate, ma prava kas sediki, for the very things that you've asked of me, I will give you, says God. And I will not leave you. I will not forsake you, says the Lord. And I'm telling you to tell you, the devil's a liar, brother. You will not be homeless. The devil's a liar. God says, I will be consistent in my provisions, says God. And I will keep you close to my heart. And even to thy children, I will keep them under the shadow of my wing. And this is my promise because you have prayed for them. No harm. Woo! Ugh! No harm will come to them all the days of their earthly lives. And you will come to know me in name as thy Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides. Not some things, but all things, says the Spirit of the living God. Father, even as they come forth at this early age, we pray for a born-again experience, baptized and filled in the Holy Ghost, that their tongues... Their tongues, their spiritual languages will be profound. And that even at this early age, you will give them the interpretation of those tongues. Sheka preka, and raising them up. Sheka of, of children of, of your own, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. Somebody give God praise in the house. So we're going to talk to you for about five more hours. I, I'll do it. No, we'll just, just be serious here now. Okay. So from Genesis 1-1 to Revelation 22-21, the Bible is filled with scenarios of how great Faith is used when put in the application and how faith will bring the fulfillment of what his, his uh, people ask him for. Amen? To, the, to Abraham, his faith in God provided him a sacrifice that sustained the life of his beloved son Isaac. You all know the story? If not, read it in your Bible. And I'm just going to give you some clips. I'm not going to do your homework. you got to do your own homework, amen? But we're going to give you the scriptures today. And I highly recommend and strongly suggest, get your face into the Word of God. Come on, saints. You see, there's, there's, here, here's, here's a prophetic release. There's an adjustment that's taken place in the uh, spiritual realm. Come on, in the spiritual realm, that first act is activating in the spiritual realm, coming into place according to the word of God that will then manifest in, this, in the natural realm. And so you got to be prepared. And God's giving us his word so when these things take place, we won't run in fear. We won't run away from the enemy. We'll run towards the enemy. That in this, in this transition that's taking place in the spiritual realm that will proceed in the, in the physical realm, that you will be girded up and you will be prepared. No matter what the enemy will try to bring towards you or your family, you will be girded up and you will be able to fight this fight and win the battle every time in Jesus' mighty name. To Moses and the children of Israel, God's faith removed them from a 400 year of bondage to end slavery. Faith that is continual. Somebody say, faith that is continual. In Exodus 5, uh, chapters 5 through 10. From the life of Esther, the faith of God. He put in her heart to deliver the Jew of her generation from a genocide. Is somebody in the house. Faith that is consistent. Somebody say, faith that is consistent. 
in Esther 4.16, to the life of Daniel and his comrades Shadrach, Meshach, and in Bendigo, faith that is persisting, Daniel 3. Somebody say, faith that is persisting. An angel, the angel Gabriel, the archangel, to marry Jesus' mother, nevertheless, she said, let it be unto me according to thy word, faith that is enduring. Come on, somebody say, faith that is enduring. Luke 1. Please listen to the saints. In Matthew 26, the account of great faith, supernatural faith in, in God is revealed in the life of Jesus himself. Knowing and believing with faith that as the world as he would encounter death, his Father in glory would raise him from the dead, giving him eternal life, sitting him at the right, at God's right hand forever. Let's go to the screen in Matthew 26, 13. He says, oh, my Father, L listen to Jesus' prayer. For knowing what he was going to endure, he didn't want to. And we hear it in his prayer. But in spite of what he didn't want to do, he knew the outcome would be victorious for God's kingdom and that it would bring redemption and salvation to humanity. Knowing what he was going to endure, he says, Oh, my father, if it be possible that this cup pass from me, nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Three times, the Bible says, three times Jesus prayed this prayer uh, to Abba and three times Abba heard him. Let's go to, to the screen, Acts chapter 2. Faith. Come on, somebody say faith. Is, is somebody receiving this? Yeah. Are, are you understanding how important the supernatural gift of is? And it's something that should be applied every, every day of our lives. Shibakas, subratabas, seka. When the Lord was giving me the description and this came to mind, I thought, man, what a day. Whew, what a day it must have been for the 120 that were up in the upper room there them following the instructions of, of Jesus. He says, go, tarry not here from Jerusalem, and go, and go to the upper room there. Get in that place, because I've got something for you. I have a surprise for you. I have something special for you. And they go by faith. Come on. They step in, into the upper room by faith. How many of you stepped in the upper room tonight by faith? You, uh, oh, praise the Lord. All right. Acts 2. And when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there come a sound from heaven as a, of a rushing mighty wind. And what happened? And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. And it sat upon each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to what? To speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterances. Abiding faith is faith that is enduring. It is lasting. Faith that is persisting. Faith that is continual. Faith that is consistent. Faith that is eternal, saints. God abiding faith that is in you, what? To bring down the Goliaths. In your land, God's abiding faith in you to cause every storm directed at you and your family to be stilled. God's abiding faith in you to reject the assaults, the rebukes, the lies, the insults, the accusations spoken against you to fight the fight until you win the battle. The battle in your minds is somebody in the house. The battles in your minds against the spirits of oppression that provoke Depression, thoughts of suicide, the supernatural gift of faith to renounce infirmities, sicknesses, and disease by the blood of the Lamb and by the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. This faith abiding in you, this faith that is in you, this abiding faith, faith that endures, lasting, that is persistent, faith that is continual, faith that is consistent, faith that is eternal. God's abiding faith that is in you. What? Come on, saints. For what? To open prison doors. Set captives free. That the deaf would hear. And for the blind to see. Oh, my God, is somebody in the house. My brother, do you understand what is in you, what God has put in you? To heal the broken heart? To preach deliverance to the captives? 
to preaching the acceptable year of the Lord. Why? Because as a born-again child of the living God, the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. Isaiah 61, the very foundation of this ministry. And the Spirit of God upon you and abiding in you is not temporal. Please hear this. It is eternal because God is eternal. He is everlasting to everlasting. John 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It doesn't change because God does not change. The writers of Hebrews emphatically states Jesus Christ. In Hebrews 3, 13, 8, Jesus Christ is same. Somebody say the same. same. Say it like you mean it. Come on. The same. The same yesterday, today, and forever. Mamboriaka, as a child of God, with this supernatural gift of faith active in you, you can bring down the Goliaths in your land. You can cause every storm directed at you and your family to be stilled. Listen to what God is saying. To reject the assaults, the rebukes, the lies, the insults, and the accusations spoken against you. To fight the fights until you win the battle. Beloved of God, get, we release this to you. Let me see. And God's telling me to tell you, when you put faith into action, saints, when you pray, you pray effectively and efficiently. When you come with an onslaught against the kingdom of darkness and their kings, those words will become brutal. Come on, they'll become brutal. Against the kingdoms of God and their kings. The kingdoms, soon the kingdoms of darkness and their kings. Thank you. And I, I pray right now that when you leave here today, I'll, I'll get back into that in just a minute. When you leave here today, I pray that this word goes so deep inside of you, that it resonates so deep in your spirit, that when you go home, as you're going home, and you rest tonight, you wake up tomorrow morning, that you will become so active in putting the supernatural gift of faith in action into every situation of your lives. And God wants you to prove him according to his words. God is not a man that he would lie. Neither the son of man that he would repent. Beloved to God, allow this supernatural gift of, of God in you to do what God intended to do through you and for you. And then put in new action for the lives of others. Today, in this sanctuary, God's anointing release, it will eliminate all doubt and remove all or any unbelief that has stopped you from utilizing this great gift from God. Today, we're going to anoint you with oil. Come on, somebody. We're going to anoint you with oil, and we're going to believe God that this word will become active and effective from this day forward. In your lives. I, I think I, I, we, we, need, we, we need to stop. Yeah, we're going to stop here in just a minute. Saints, hear, hear Brother Michael here tonight. Hear your brother in the faith. You can do this. Or, or hear these words. And, and I hear it resonating from the throne room of God. You can do this. God has anointed you for such a time as this. That you would become a recipient of what his, his word is in you. That you would pass it on to others. You don't need to come to a Sunday afternoon here at Genesis or a Monday night here at Genesis to receive what God has asked you to do. And then just stay in the four, these four walls. You need to take it outside of these four walls. And let God demonstrate his power and his love to those who have a need. And this goes beyond just your brothers and sisters in faith. We're talking about the lives of humanity, young people, my, your generation. God has called you for such a time as this, that this word will become so active in you, you would not hesitate when you have an opportunity to pray for one of your, your friends. Not being concerned what going to think about you or how they're going to talk about you because they talk about you anyway. So give them something to talk about. Saints, you can do this. And I speak to the adults. I speak to my generation, the generation coming up and the generation that is before me. You can do this. You don't need a, a certificate from a Bible college. Here, come on. You've been anointed by God. 
Come on. You've been anointed by God. He called you. He chose you. And please don't misunderstand me. We, we, we love the education that comes from the universities and the Bible colleges. But there's a place that is so serene. So serene. That would take you far beyond what a Bible college can take you. It's that place of intimacy with the Lord. It's a place when you, you go from, from, the, from the out, oh God, here we go, from the outer courts of praise into the inner courts. Sere brakava, a sacrifice. And then to take it a step further, to go from this place of sacrifice. Come on. Sheka bararaka, into this place of total surrender. Where everything around you, all the distractions, are removed. And you can remain in the presence of God, listening to His voice, crying out to you, calling you. Ah. Woo. <sighs> calling you as one of His sons and daughters to hear His heart for you. Many times God has prophesied over so many people here wanting them to understand how intimate he wants to be with them by saying, I will take your ear and I will place it upon my heart so you can hear my heartbeat towards you. That's intimacy. That's intimacy. Sebo kapas is Saints, you can do this. If it be prayer for somebody, do it. If it be the laying on our hands to heal somebody, do it. If it is to speak a prophetic word in the life of somebody, do it and watch God move. We got four more pages, but we're going to put a, a, a stop. Maybe we'll continue this tomorrow. Shiki visiki. So, somebody online or here may be asking, well, Brother Michael, where do I begin? You got to first begin in Jerusalem. The Bible says first in Jerusalem. And we're going to break this down. I'll probably get some responses from that, but you can talk to me after the service. When God talks about first Jerusalem. We, we consider our home, we, amen? Our house, our dwelling place, and our family. But what I got today from this word, first in Jerusalem, here. It needs to begin here in your heart of hearts. In that place where only God can take you. Where you consecrate yourself and separate yourself unto him. So he can speak to you. And reveal those things in your Jerusalem that need to be eradicated. Come on. Need to be removed. Sere bruto bakas. Come on. Come on. The assaults. The rejection. The abandonment. All those things that are tucked away deep in your spirit, uh, in your heart, excuse me, shaka, in your soul, shaka, but that can only come out, only be revealed by the Spirit of God. And when you get to that place and He begins to tender you to remove those things, it, it, it becomes easy. It's, it's not, uh, how can I say, it? it's not painful. It's, it's an immediate release. And then in that moment, immediately as he removes those things, he comes in with his virtue. Oh, my God. He comes in with his virtue. He comes as a bomb of Gilead, the one who heals those wounds. So tonight, we're asking you here, let faith begin in your Jerusalem. Let it begin in here. Let God attend to those things. And we stand here releasing the word from experience. Even the Apostle Paul, he writes, I can only speak of those things which I have experienced. And so we can speak these things because we've experienced these things. In sessions of intimacy with the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. So Father, we thank you now what you've released in this house. Those of you joining us online tonight, we thank you for your word released. Papa, as as Paul says, I've watered. Apostle, I, I've planted. Apollos watered. Now let God give the increase. 
Father, we ask, we give you permission. Holy Spirit, bring an increase in us uh, through the validation of your life-giving word and by your spirit that lives in us. We ask that there'd be a, a prompting for an acceleration for the development of this supernatural gift of faith. Not only to be active in us, but so that we can release it in the lives of others. Revealing your kingdom now operating in the earth to meet the lives of your kingdom people. And all of God's beloved say, amen. Oh my God. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, give God praise in the house. Those of you that have joined us salon, thank you so much. We will be here tomorrow night, 7.30 promptly. Worship will be taking place. We'll be in the house. Again, we will be releasing a prophetic word, another message. We will be laying hands upon individuals. We'll be anointing. So if you're in the neighborhood, even if you're not, take a drive, whether it be an hour or two, and get yourselves down here tomorrow night. We will be in the house, and we will be declaring the word of God into your lives in Jesus' mighty name. With that being said, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. And the Lord give you his shalom, his peace. And all of God's people say, amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. We will see you tomorrow night. Hallelujah.